Interesting thing about hyperthermia, it's one of the oldest treatments there is for cancer treatments. And way back in the 30s and 40s, uh, what they do is they would put people in chambers and they basically would heat them up because one of the things cancer cells don't like is heat. Heat obviously allows the, the blood vessels to expand, they dilate, it brings blood to the surface, it makes you sweat. And sweat and our skin is one of the main ways that we can actually detoxify the body. We obviously have our intestines, we have our bladder and urinary tract, we have our lungs, we have our brain through emotions, and then we have our skin. So hyperthermia is an attempt to raise your metabolism. It's to, and when you raise your metabolism, your liver works more efficiently. It puts out more products, more immunoglobulins and other more products that allows the detox to happen. It makes your thyroid work a little bit more efficiently because that's also responsible for, for metabolism as well as sweating to sweat out you know anything that the body is is capable of doing so we will do it for cancer patients but we'll do it for any patients that needs to do a, a sort of a detox you know people are familiar with with saunas uh, as also creating that However, the unit that we use in the clinic uh, allows you to much more quickly raise your body temperature. And it's safe because uh, we have our nurses check in every five to 10 minutes. We're constantly, so uh, to do the treatment, you're basically lying inside a tube. So you're lying on a heat source as well as basically being covered by what amounts to a little tent uh, that allows you to basically have uh, heat totally enclosing you. So the only thing that's not in the tent is your head. So uh, we, we have you t totally naked in there and exposed, but you're being offered water throughout because you definitely will be sweating. And we let people go uh, for as long as they're comfortable. Some people will be 20 minutes, 30 minutes sometimes. You definitely get hot because it is a, another way that we can simulate metabolism. We can get things working. You know, the in the wintertime, people will start a car on a cold day and they won't immediately drive away because there's too much congestion. The type, hyperthermia is a type of therapy that can get this metabolism moving and along with a lot of the other therapies that we do, it will facilitate uh, you know, the, the body moving into a much more uh, easy to, to function that allows all your organs to work very efficiently.